Hello everyone. My name is Avirat Singh Ranavat. I'm a technical member of Codezilla Club. Today we'll be learning about cloud storage. Well, some might ask before getting into learning cloud storage, they would ask what do you mean by the cloud? The cloud which is being referred are basically servers. Do not mistake it for some cloud created by companies which fly over our house. So the concept of virtualization is applied where a virtual computer would behave exactly like that of a normal computer, where companies do not have to manage physical servers themselves or run software applications on their own machines. So let's move on. What is cloud storage? Cloud storage is a model of computer data storage in which the digital data is stored in logical pools. The physical storage spans multiple servers and the physical environment is typically owned and managed by a hosting company. So these servers have our data in those big closet of technology. What did we have before cloud storage? It has evolved from a really long time. And the following pictures that you would see, be sure to look at the size of what uh, they were providing. Just like punch cards in 1890, provided only 0.08 kilobytes of data. So in the following images, make sure to check the size of storage that they provided. We had the magnetic drum in 1932, magnetic core in 1951, magnetic tape drive in 1952, hard disk drive in 1956, Floppy disks in 1967, compact disks or CDs in 1982, zip drives in 1994, digital video disk or DVDs in 1995, Blu-ray optical disk in 2003 and we finally got the cloud storage in 2006. So we have many companies which are using cloud storage services. The top 10 companies that are being rated for their cloud storage and cloud computing services are AWS, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, Dell EMC, Google Cloud Platform, IBM, Clear Data, Intel, Iron Mountain, SAP. There are definitely more cloud service providers, but I have mentioned these for now. Let us have a look at how cloud storage works and why many such companies invest in such technology. So firstly, the cloud storage requires data centers. At the most basic level, just one server is enough to be connected to the internet, but user can't easily connect to the data server. So through a web-based interface, Whatever our data we would like to store can be transferred to the data center or the cloud, basically. Now, in a company's perspective, would you think that you would create only one data center? How about pause the video and hit us up in the comment section and let us know what you would do if you were going to make a cloud storage company. Let's move on. As the phrase suggests, do not pull all your eggs in one basket. Companies rely on hundreds of data servers all around the world so that we can access our data anytime, anywhere. Because a company wouldn't want to get sued just because a mechanic couldn't do a maintenance on a data server. So this is the strategy of redundancy, of having many copies of our data on many data centers. The following map in the slide shows what the cloud is basically like and how we are accessing our data. Now you would have doubts as to is my data even being safe in the cloud? It's all being done in the form of keys. To explain it to you in a simple manner, let's say you're in some part A of the world using Google Drive's A data center. So you already have this virtual key to access it from your device. Note that you wouldn't know about the key. It's all done in the backend. 
Now let's say you take a long trip to part B of the world trying to access Google Drive's data center B, which is closer to you. And you would still be able to access your data. And apart from this, event logs, firewalls, encryption keys, of course, keep our data safe. So don't really ever worry, you know, because the cloud storage won't let the people sitting in the data center see your family photos. Types of cloud storage. There are mainly three types of cloud storage. Private, public, and hybrid cloud storage. Private, exactly as the name suggests, is designed for a company that is specific for their needs. It could also be useful for a person or a small group of people running a home-based company. Just like our cloud services like Google Drive or iCloud or Dropbox, it requires some administrative control. We can give access to other people if we want. We would get the same security as the private cloud storage, but we wouldn't really need to maintain it. Hybrid is a combination of both storages. As per our needs, person, group or a company can decide which information should be stored privately and which could be stored publicly which wouldn't matter even if it gets lost but the fact that it would get lost might not even happen so just to give some clarity about those who are confused between cloud storage and cloud computing cloud storage is basically accessing files anytime anywhere cloud computing is simply a totally virtual system or a computer so imagine if you have a slow computer, but if you have a good internet connection, you can access a much powerful computer for the tasks you need. So cloud storage is basically an application of cloud computing and its services. Coming to pros and cons. Pros. First, our first pro is cost. Purchasing physical storage can be expensive. It does seem exceptionally cheaper to go for a cloud storage. Many companies give out some basic free storage, but if you do need an upgrade, you might need to pay. Accessibility. If you got the internet, then you can connect your data in a cloud anywhere. So don't think that your data is going to rain if you do not have internet. Recovery. Cloud storage even provides backup facilities where if you have a device which has any hardware issues, if you have backed up your data on your device, then you wouldn't need to worry about your data. Syncing and updating. Your data, which is connected to the cloud, is syncing with the cloud so that a photo updated to the cloud through your phone can be viewed in another device which is connected to your drive. Security. Cloud storage providers make simple but internally strong security algorithms to make sure that your data isn't being used by your nosy neighbor or your friend who are trying to find your childhood photo so that you could annoy you later. Now we'll move on to the cons. First, being internet connection. Cloud storage highly depends on an internet connection. With a slow network, it would be hard to access your files. But in case of no internet, we can't access our files at all. So still trust that flash drive sitting somewhere in your home too costs you might be wondering why it's a pro and a con but if you are highly dependent on a cloud for work there are additional costs for downloading and upload speeds to the cloud hard drives as much as cloud storage removes our headache of having hard drives at home some cloud storage providers require physical hard drives as well privacy companies and providers of course will say that your data will be secure but that's still a gray area needed to be figured out. So that's it for this video. Please have a look at our social handles. Do not think twice before reaching to us. We are an open source community, so feel free to contact us through any of these modes. If you have any queries or expect anything more from this video, or if you have ideas on topics that you would want us to make, then please go down to the comment section and let us know. And apart from that, please like the video, do not forget to share and subscribe our channel for more tech content. Thank you.